I'm so glad we have divers on the boat today because, I mean, the conditions look pretty killer right now. The culture here in the Channel Islands isn't just fishing. Free diving here is world class. There are so many options in the Channel Islands, whether it's scallops along the rocks, yellowtail and white sea bass in the kelp beds, or sheep's head and sea urchins in the flats. It's a really exciting environment to go dive and see what's out there. The water is crystal clear. We do have massive upwelling that comes off Point Conception to where it makes our waters colder. They're a bit more frigid than what you would expect in Southern California. One of my favorite things to do here in the Channel Islands is to dive for scallops. And uh, usually I'll just chuck them right underwater. Sometimes I'll actually knock them off the rocks and bring them back up on board here. And right now it's a little donked in because you can't really get into the shell to clean it out. So there's a little trick we have. You just take a zip tie and right down near the hinge here, there's a little, little spot you can just kind of stick the zip tie into and it makes the scallop think that it's got something foreign in its shell that it's gonna try to expel. Jeff came into the picture a little bit further down the road. It played in my favor having a friend that had a degree in marine biology from UCSB because he knew the islands like the back of his hand. And he comes from a totally different angle than what I'm used to. He came from a diver's background. There he goes. There he goes. Now he's starting to open up. That's all it takes. Open him up like that. So now the part that we eat is this adductor muscle that they use to close. So you just take a butter knife, just scrape it off the bottom of the shell here. There's our meat, clean it up. So there you go, there's a nice little diver scallop, rock scallop nugget. And these are really good to eat raw. I'll actually eat these right now, right here on the boat. Cheers. You. Oh yeah. That is really good. Jeff is super knowledgeable about the environment and it really shows. Well, really one of the big reasons what makes these islands so special is that it's right in what we call a biogeographic transition zone. Over just about 30 miles, you transition from that really cold central coast water to a lot more of a warm, almost subtropical influence. And what that does is that creates a lot of different little microhabitats for a lot of different species. It's a really, really diverse area, and that's a big reason what makes it so special and, and so interesting every single time you come out here. You kind of never know what to expect. There's just so much life out here. When you go to figure out the Channel Islands on your own, you literally have to go cove to cove, point to point, and figure it out yourself. And it can honestly, take you a lifetime. It is something that is meant to be explored, meant to be discovered, and I wanna figure this island chain out. <laughs>